In this video, we're gonna share seven reasons why you should not get a Labradoodle. Labradoodles are fun, loving, and smart, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we've outlined seven reasons why Labradoodles may not be the best fit for you and your family. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. So if you love dogs, consider subscribing. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not a Labradoodle is right for you. So let's get started with number one. The first reason a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because they have sensitive stomachs. For whatever reason, doodles have sensitive stomachs. So this means they go to the bathroom when they're not supposed to and sometimes they throw up. So if they go on an empty stomach for too long, say you forget to feed them one morning or one evening, then it causes irritation in their stomach and they'll typically tend to throw up or their stomachs can get really upset, especially when they're puppies and they can have bad problems going to the bathroom when they're not supposed to. So it's something to be aware of if you're gonna go down the route of a doodle, especially a Labradoodle. They have sensitive stomachs. It's something that you as an owner will need to take care of. There's different supplements out there that you can put on top of their food to make sure that their stomach stays calm and good, but it's definitely something to be aware of if you get a Labradoodle. The second reason a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because of their size. When you get them as a puppy, they're cute, adorable, and look like little teddy bears. But if you mix a Labrador Retriever with a standard poodle, you're gonna get a pretty strong dog, a pretty big dog, and an active dog. So if you're older or if you have kids that may be taking this dog for a walk, it may be a lot to handle. So just know that this dog is big. They wanna be active. They wanna be outside swimming, hiking, going for runs, being outside and active, and they've got a ton of energy. So a big dog with a lot of energy. So it's something to be aware of if you get a Labradoodle. The number three reason why a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. Like we just said, this is an active dog. It's a Labrador Retriever mixed with a Poodle. Both of these dogs have a history of being active, wanting to be outside, and they're gonna have a lot of pent up energy. So if you don't have the ability to take them for a walk or you're not going to, then this dog's just not gonna be best for you as they'll have a ton of pent up energy, high anxiety, and then they'll start to be destructive and have bad behavior inside the home. So this dog is definitely not for you and something you should avoid if you're not able to give them regular exercise every single day for about an hour. The number four reason why a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. So if you don't have the ability to get them socialized with other people, other dogs, other animals, car rides, vets, then this dog may not be best for you. But if you can do this, then this dog will be outstanding. They're a great dog, but they definitely need to be socialized early and often. So if you have the ability to take them in the car, get them around other people, get them in different environments, take them everywhere with you right early and often, then this dog will be a breeze. You don't have to worry about them around other people and animals having any problems. But if you don't get them socialized then you never know what a dog would do especially a labradoodle so if you get them around other people other animals this dog will be outstanding the fifth reason why a labradoodle may not be best for you is because of the cost the upfront cost of a labradoodle is anywhere from two to four thousand dollars then from there they need high quality food and then the next thing is their grooming they're going to be groomed every four to eight weeks and they need to be groomed because they don't shed and their hair can get matted and be very painful for them. So to keep up on this, you'll need to groom them every four to eight weeks, and that typically costs about $100 and takes about three to four hours at a time. So it's a lot of time and a lot of money to be tied up into this dog. So if you don't have the resources or don't wanna spend the resources, then a Labradoodle may not be best for you. Number six reason why a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because of separation anxiety. These guys do not like being home alone too often or too long. So if you're gone most of the day, then this dog will be a challenge to have. They don't want to be in a crate all day and they get pent up energy and they have a lot of energy ready to go. So when you get home, they're going to be crazy and they're going to definitely want to go outside and not be left in that crate for too much longer. So if you have the ability to have someone come watch your dog, then it'll be great. But if you're gone long periods of time or you take business trips, this dog may not be best for you as they want to be by their owner at all times. They want to do whatever you're doing and they want to please you as much as they possibly can. So if you're around a lot, a Labradoodle will be perfect. But if you're gone a lot, a Labradoodle may not be best for you. 
The number seven reason that a Labradoodle may not be best for you is because they need a strong leader. So if this is your first dog, maybe look to a smaller dog, a dog that's not as strong as a Labradoodle. But if you've had dogs before, you know how to give concise, strong direction. You know how to stay calm, assertive, and confident then this dog will be great. They'll respond well to you and they'll look to you as the pack leader. But if you've never had a dog and you're not sure what to do, then a Labradoodle may not be best for you because they're big, high energy, and they want to do different things. So we hope you've enjoyed this video about the Labradoodle and whether or not it's right for you. And we'll see you on the next one.